Uh, welcome everybody. Good morning and good evening. So today we're moving into day two of this week where we focus just on forgiveness and we're going to be working with self forgiveness today. Um, and so I wrote down about eight different areas in which we can utilize self forgiveness. So we'll have some fun with that one. So I invite you to close your eyes and let us go ahead and fully connect so we can receive the greatest value from this practice. We invite our own beloved soul, the soul of our beloved source creator. We invite the soul of our Shifus and Heaven's teams, guides, angels and saints. We deeply love, respect and bow our heads in gratitude to you for your unconditional service for our lives. We're deeply grateful for all the love and the light, your healing and more that you shower upon us each and every day. Thank you from our hearts. And dear the soul, of every negative thought, word, or action that I have offered myself or others, could you please come at this time? I wish to connect with you and remove this vibration from my field. Every negative thought I've ever had about myself, every negative word I've ever said towards myself or negative action I've ever done towards myself has come from a place of a lack of alignment with source. I open myself now to completely forgive myself this lack of awakening this lack of knowing, this lack of consciousness. I allow myself now and through this practice to release layers of each of the times and different ways that I may have offered myself negative thoughts, words, or actions. I also offer myself unconditional forgiveness for allowing the thoughts of others to enter my vibration and accepting those negative thoughts as if they were true. This and more is what I will be working with today. And I ask Source and all my downloads, all my treasures, all my light balls and healing transmissions to now turn on. <clears throat> I ask the Dao Calligraphy Healing Field of Da Quan Chu, the countless saints and more that serve through this Source Calligraphy, to please bless me to release this negative information I'm deeply grateful. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So I will walk us through today this practice and you can choose to trace or not. I don't believe I'll be playing music in the background today as all we have a lot to cover with self forgiveness. And so let us maintain this energy. Let us begin. Into the soul of the Da Kuan Chu, source calligraphy, the countless layers of divine Da and source love, forgiveness, healing angels, archangels, masters, ascended masters, beings of love and light, and more that serve through this beloved portal. I love you. Could you please come to my heart center today? any place within my Shen Qi and Jing to release the negative messages that I have brought or allowed into my vibration. I'm so grateful for this opportunity each and every day to receive your healing and your vibrations. I give myself complete permission now to fully release all the negativity that I have given myself or accepted from others. <clears throat> I forgive myself any negative thoughts, words, or actions I have given myself or have accepted from others about my body, my body shape, my body size, my skin, the way my eyes look, the color of my hair, my height, anything that I have ever said negative about myself, anything that I've ever 
thought or have accepted from others' perceptions, from others' um, statements, from others' judgments or criticisms. I fully and completely forgive myself now for accepting any of that negativity. I am pure soul source from the source as are all souls all souls are equal we all come from the same source those who judge and criticized me in this and all lifetimes i extend to you now my unconditional forgiveness you do not need that negative energy on your vibration and i do not need it on mine and I invite you, those who have spoken negatively, to forgive others that spoke negatively about you so that you do no longer keep the cycle going. <clears throat> I love myself and I forgive myself for this entire lifetime and all lifetimes. I have ever spoken anything negative about my looks, my height, my weight, my skin, my eyes, my hair, my breath. This and any time I've spoken about anything about my body, my looks, any aspect of me. I forgive myself fully and completely. I am awesome already. And all of those negativities, they're false. They are not true. They are simply perceptions. I forgive myself for not loving myself fully and completely. I forgive myself for accepting the negativity from others that very often said negative things because they too felt low. They too could only pick themselves up by putting others down. How sad. I forgive myself for accepting those negative thoughts, words, and actions from others and from myself. <clears throat> da Quan Shu. Da Quan Shu. Da Quan Shu. Da Quan Shu. Da Quan Chu, Da Quan Chu, Da Quan Chu, Da Quan Chu. And I forgive myself the poor choices I have made in relationships. I may have stayed in relationships that were not healthy for me far too long. I forgive myself for not having the wisdom, and the strength, and the willpower, and the love and trust of my own abilities. I forgive myself for staying in poor quality relationships too long. I forgive myself for anything I've ever told myself about those relationships. If I've ever told myself, but you can't be anything without this. You cannot succeed unless you stay. If I ever told myself, I don't know how to get ahead. I don't know how to, to survive without this person. I forgive myself for holding on to those negative thoughts, those false thoughts. <clears throat> I also forgive these other people that may have manipulated me may have said negative things to me, helping me or causing me to accept the false belief that I was not worthy enough, not capable enough, not enough of whatever was needed to step away from that relationship. I forgive those souls for taking advantage of my weaknesses, and I forgive myself for believing those false messages. I let go now fully and completely. This in any lifetime, I have accepted false messages from others, messages that took advantage of my lack of confidence. 
I forgive myself my lack of confidence, my lack of willpower. I love myself. I am awesome. I am much better now, but I may be holding on to these old negative messages. And I forgive myself now. Da Kwon Shu, 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 Da Kwon Shu. I forgive myself for any this lifetime and any lifetime that I have blocked myself from having love, from having affection, from receiving positive attention from others. I forgive myself for this or any lifetime that I have held on to hope that someone else would love me, that someone else would somehow figure out that I loved them. I forgive myself for holding on and wasting time that I could be allowing others into my vibration. I am worthy. I am awesome. I am lovable, kind, and already perfect. If someone can't see that, that's not my problem. That's their problem. I forgive myself for any beliefs that do not honor how amazing, awesome, and great I am. I forgive others for anything negative that they may have said to me that might have interrupted this truth. Da Kwon Shu, Da Kwon Shu, Da Kwon Shu. Na Kwon Shu, Na Kwon Shu, Na Kwon Shu, Na Kwon Shu, Na Kwon Shu. I forgive myself for not accepting the positive messages that others have offered. Many people have said good and positive things to me, but sometimes I simply say, oh, it's nothing. Oh, it's not a big deal. I refused to accept the positive words. I forgive myself for not allowing in positive words. I love myself and now consciously, purposely accept anything positive that is ever said about me. I relish in it and I allow it to bless me. I forgive myself for all the times that I have minimized or disallowed anything positive into my field. Da Kwon Shu, Da Kwon Shu, Da Kwon Shu. Da Kwon Shu, Da Kwon Shu, Da Kwon Shu, Da Kwon Shu, Da Kwon Shu. I forgive myself for all the times I have put myself down, all the times I've looked at myself or accepted something negative from another and then embellished it and put myself down, believed it even more. I forgive all of the children from my youth that picked on me, said negative things about me when I was young. All of those children that hurt my feelings. I forgive myself for holding on to those hurt feelings from many, many decades ago. I forgive those children, for they do not know. In fact, many times 
They picked on me because they were in pain. They were picking on me because they did not have confidence. They did not have self-love. They did not have parents and friends that loved them. So they picked themselves up by putting others down. I need to forgive them and let that go. I need to forgive myself for accepting whatever has been said to me in this and all lifetimes is true. The source is within me and I am within the source. I am and have always been perfect and unconditionally loved by the source. There's literally no part of me that is not already perfect. I forgive myself for accepting anything other than this truth. Da Quan Chu. 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 I forgive myself the choices that I've made in my life, in my career, in every aspect of my life that were not the highest and best choices for my future. I may have made some mistakes with some of those choices, choosing the wrong people to be with, choosing a career path that I might wish a different path now, <clears throat> choosing to stay in a job when I should have left years ago. I forgive myself for any of the choices that I have made that may not have served my highest and best interests. I now recognize that every single thing that I did actually served me. There was no choice that I have labeled as bad that has not taught me great wisdom that I have not learned from. In fact, every single choice that I labeled as bad has created much better results in the end, for I am wiser, I am better off, and I will not make those same mistakes again in this or any lifetime. <clears throat> I recognize that I may have been necessary to make those choices that I have judged as bad to help clear any karma or negative information that was already on my field. And by labeling those choices as bad, I am actually holding that in my field when in fact I may have completed a karma. I may have completed an obligation that I needed to complete so that I could learn and grow. And I am holding it within by labeling it as a bad choice, putting myself down. I forgive myself for holding on to any of these false beliefs, wrong information about my choices. Every choice I have ever made has been the best choice for me because it has made me the amazing and awesome person I am today. It has further cleared any karma I had and it was in divine timing. I forgive myself for holding on to any negativity around my choices. Da Quan Chu. 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 Greatest forgiveness. 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 I love myself. I am awesome. 
And I forgive myself for making choices about my health and my wellness that have not been the ideal and best for me. It's not so easy sometimes. Sometimes I just want that sugar. Sometimes I just want that drink. Sometimes I just want that food that I know is not the best for me. Sometimes I just want to relax, have that wine or that ice cream. I forgive myself for having guilt around these food choices. <clears throat> I forgive myself for not going to the gym as often as I promised I would go. I forgive myself for not making better choices that allow me to live in health and happiness longer, easier, and better. When I allow myself to feel guilty about these choices, I actually create more negativity in my field. I actually create more discomfort to my body and my health. So I forgive myself. Of course, I wish to be more consistent. Of course, I wish to make better choices on a consistent basis. But if I do not, and if I fall off the wagon here or there, I still recognize that every choice that I make is serving me. It allows me to see where my strengths and weaknesses are. And I recognize that by holding on to this negativity, feeling guilty or putting myself down is not helping my vibration. So I love myself and I forgive myself. But this in all lifetimes, I have ever said anything <clears throat> negative to myself about my health choices, my weight, and anything associated with that. Da Kwon Shu, Da Kwon Shu, Da Kwon Shu, Da Kwon Shu. Greatest forgiveness, greatest forgiveness, greatest forgiveness, greatest forgiveness. I love me, I love me. Say it with a smile. I love me. I love me. I am awesome. I am awesome. I am awesome. I am awesome. And I forgive myself my lack of awakening and wisdom in this world of spirituality. I now know that I am a soul having a physical experience. And I forgive myself how long it may have taken to wake up for all of the times that I may have not picked up that book that I should have, not done that meditation that would best serve me. I forgive myself for not making choices that could better serve my spiritual journey. <clears throat> I forgive myself all the times I have not allowed my heart to hear my soul's guidance, my heaven's team's messages, all the times that I allowed my mind to make a heart-centered decision. I forgive myself for allowing mind-based thoughts, fears, worries, doubts, and all of those uh, decisions that did not allow the guidance of the heart. I now know that my intuition is my soul. My intuition is my heaven's teams, guides, angels, and saints. That even though sometimes it doesn't make sense to do what is being guided to do, that in actuality, it is the fastest path with the least resistance even if it doesn't make sense. And I forgive myself for all of the hard lessons I've given myself by choosing to follow my mind instead of my heart. 
I forgive myself. 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 Come to the end of tracing this calligraphy. If you are tracing, some of you may be meditating. <clears throat> it's highly likely that we will be needing a practice of this nature again and again. If you're one of those folks that any of this resonated with, which is probably 98% of humanity, <laughs> then I would recommend that you come back and do this one again. I also got the message to actually make this one public, so I will remove any of your images from that so you're not shown. Um, but um, I'm going to go ahead and make this available to the public because they need to know how Tao healing can serve them and how um, this kind of practice can make a, a massive difference in their life. A lot of people are in great emotional, mental pain, especially today. So. I will get the recordings up shortly. Sorry about not getting yesterday's recording up until like a half hour ago. That wasn't so awesome. <clears throat> I'll get better at it. Okay, everybody. Have an amazing day. Bye-bye.